Hey guys, welcome back to Next Gen Blogger. And in this video, I want to show you how you can use the Explode Distort effect in VACC Free Video Editor. Now, Explode Distort effect is actually pretty similar to the noise which you see on television when there is no network. And uh, it is actually super easy to create that kind of effect in VSTC. So without further delay, let's get started. Now, as you can see, I've already imported my demo video in the editor. And to apply the Explode Distort effect, double click on the video and then go to Video Effects, Transforms, select Distort and click on OK. Now look inside the Distort effect settings which is present inside the Properties window and you will find this type option where currently Faceted Glass is selected. So click on this drop down list and select Explode. Now inside the explode distort effect, we got a couple of options. So we have shift size, dynamic, interpolation and anti-aliasing. But the option in which we are interested in is this one called shift size, which is currently set to zero. But if I just quickly keep on increasing this shift size option, you will start noticing the explode distort effect on the screen. So this is how the explode distort effect generally looks like now i know it does not make any sense but currently the shift size is set to constant parameter value and if i just change this to linear parameter change i will get two options so now i have the options 70 70 inside the shift size but if i just quickly change the values from 70 70 to 0 70 and now if i just quickly play the video for you so gradually the export distort effect will be applied on top of my video. Let me just decrease the duration of my distort effect. So let me just decrease the duration of my distort effect to somewhere around 4 second, 800 millisecond. And let me just also increase the value from 70 to let's say 700. And now let me just quickly play the video for you. So the export distort effect will be gradually applied on top of my video. Let me just reverse the values. So let me just reverse the values from 0, 0700 to 700, 0. And let me just play the video for you again from the start. So now in this case, what will happen is when I play the video, the start of my video, as you can see, is filled with the distort effect, explode distort effect. But gradually, the explode distort effect will kind of fade away and uh, my video will become visible. So let me just quickly play the video for you. So as you can see, gradually, my video becomes visible. The start of my video happened with the explode distort effect, but gradually my video become visible. Now I can make or I can make this look more kind of interesting by changing this value from false to true. So this is the dynamic option. Earlier it was set to false. Now I have changed it to true. And now if I just quickly play the video for you. So this is how the explode distort effect is looking. Perfect. You can also try the different options which are present inside interpolation. So this was linear interpolation. You can change this and try cubic interpolation. There is not that much of a difference, but you can still try it out. So this is cubic interpolation. It is pretty much the same. And if you want, you can try the third option as well, which is nearest neighbor interpolation. Let me just decrease the duration of my distort effect a little more to somewhere around let's say 2 second 866 millisecond and if you want you can also change the anti-aliasing option from true to false. Again not that much of a difference. So this is how the explode distort effect looks and this is how you can actually use the explode distort effect in VSGC free video editor. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
I will again see in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.